Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube. It's Adrian here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I'm in the kitchen. Mom is actually making some chicken right here. She's going to make chicken pot pie today, and I'm very excited because I've been wanting some for so long. And check out our gorgeous thrifted Lake Crusade. This is from the Goodwill. And here's mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> mom, are you trying to be John today? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, anyway, I just wanted to announce that mom now has her own Instagram <laughs> that I just <laughs> put up. Because I accidentally... She accidentally made one, so I finished it up for her, and she's very excited. So, if you guys want to follow her, I'll have it linked down below. Her username is <laughs> It's Hadrian's Mom. <laughs> Do you know, Mom, John, John already messaged me about it. He sent me a screen cap, and he was like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, so... Follow her, she's gonna, one of her first posts are, is that chicken right there, so, look at that, she's like, she, what is that, peeling some carrots, <laughs> she has more chicken right there that she's gonna make, she's getting everything ready, so she's making some delicious food today, so, yeah, it's gonna be fun. You can follow her along all her cooking adventures for when she doesn't want me to film her making food. She can just take her own photos. And some of these are fresh from the garden. Ooh, garden. Mom wanted me to show you guys her bouquet of basil. <laughs> <laughs> She's very proud of it. Also, in the Thrifted Princess house space. <laughs> oh, and my new leaf has finally unfurled completely. She is looking gorgeous. She has one light green spot right there. Other than that, she is stark white. Oh, and like the, there's a little bit of green right there too. And the, Ooh, like a tiny little, like a green stripe, racing stripe almost. So I'm heading out now, I just got everything inside the car that I need to mail out. Now I'm in the car, so let's go. So right now, we're going to go to the post office. Then we're gonna go back to the Goodwill, pull some more items. I'm gonna start like, I'm gonna start kinda like, um, I think today I am going to, st what am I saying? Um, I'm gonna start like going through all the stuff that I have found thus far. And I don't know, kind of like just sift through everything and make sure like I really, really like everything that's gonna go up. And then, um, oh, I'm so excited for the event. I'm like kind of like dying, but I'm so excited for mom's new Instagram. Today is the perfect day to start it because she's gonna like, she's gonna be making chicken pot pie. I think she's gonna do some baking and I cannot wait to come back home and eat everything. So uh, with that being said, let's head out and hopefully we can find some really great stuff today. All right, you guys, just got to the post office, gonna drop off our packages. All right, you guys, just got to the Veterans Thrift. Wish me luck. All right, you guys, I'm just like going through the handbags really quick and I'll show you guys what I found because there's like, a lot of people competing for handbags right now. So, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I got a cart full of stuff. I need to find out if this is blue or green. I'm hoping that it's blue, I don't know. It looks maybe a little greenish, but, um, Either way, it would be on sale. I found this Aura Delphine pouch. It's $7. And this Marc Jacobs finally went on sale. Um, the exterior needs a little bit of cleaning, but it's like a really great bag and it's a really great style. So, there's that. They did have the Ferragamo, so which I think I'm gonna get because it's on sale now too. Found this amazing Cuba bag it's only seven dollars and then this Joel Joel Hawking this one's ten dollars I'm considering this one maybe um, there's this amazing looking oh I didn't notice this this is probably from that fossil Ralph Lauren it's seven dollars it looks very much like a Marnie I kind of like it and I like the style and shape and silhouette and the leather feels amazing. I'm considering that as well. Um, there's another coupon here that finally went on sale. There's this amazing fossil, which I really like. Oh, it is a little pricey though. That one's $40, but I think it's 25% off, or half off. No, I think it might be half off. So it'd be 20. 
But don't you just love the vachet? It looks so like so new still. So. Oh, there's so many bags. It's a little time. You guys, this little kid Gucci jacket is so cute. It's a size 36. Oh, this looks little Lizo. What do I do? It's a hundred dollars though, so expensive. Look at you guys, there's like this duffel bag. Oh, is it missing a stud? Oh, it's missing a stud. Too bad. It's $15, but it's all leather. It's cool. So these, I don't think I'm going to get these two. This one has like a lot of wear kind of on the handles. I don't know. We'll wait to see if it goes on sale. And then this one, I didn't notice that there was like a giant like thing on the front. So this one I also might hold off off and wait for it to go even more on sale because it's still pretty expensive. There's this Bakie, which is stunning in the gold. I don't even, the color is not even coming off for that well on camera. Like, it kind of looks silver, but it's like definitely like a champagne. There's this really cute Laura Ashley leather tote that's all leather, and it's $10, but I think it's 25% off. I love the floral detail on here, and I think it's really, really cute, and it's perfect for fall. This is that Mark by Mark. It's a little dirty, but needs a little bit of cleaning, but it is going to be half off, so it is really cute, and I really, really do like this style. And it has a crossbody strap. I feel like those are always missing. Um, I think I'm gonna get the Ferragamo. I think I'm gonna have to do it. It's so cute. It's so nice, and it is finally on sale. Then there's this Cuba, which is bananas. Look at the detail on this thing. It's amazing. Love it. Then this Ralph Lauren, which kind of looks like a Marnie. Um, it is ten dollars though. And then this beautiful fossil, and this one is forty. Ugh. Check out this pumpkin I just got. Seven dollars. They had like some Halloween stuff right there. I'm uh, just going through the kitchen stuff just really quick. Oh, the frog. He's only a dollar ninety-eight. Oh, he has like a little beauty mark right there. You guys, I found the cutest turtle, like a little plate. Oh my god, seven ninety-five. Or from Pier 1. And here it's 99 cents, but I think it's on sale for 25% off, so it's 75 cents. It is plastic though, but it's so cute. It's Speedy the Turtle. I might get this. Hey guys, a good start to a good day. I got a giant bag full of goodies. Alright, guys, it is super windy here, but I just got to the Goodwill. Let's go inside, see what we can find today. I'm super duper excited. It's only two more days till the event. How many times am I gonna say this? Uh, I'm sorry if I'm annoying you guys with this, but anyway, let's go inside and check it out. All right, you guys, I just got really excited because I found a ton of great faux botanicals, little centerpiece type things. I put together this little thing right here, which I think would be really pretty for fall. And then this one is really like, these are all just random flowers. I'm gonna try and arrange them in a little bit, but they were just like there. And we'll see how we can put everything together to make something really pretty. Let me grab these extra ones in here too. You guys, look at this chair. This is a Target chair. It's so, 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 so fabulous. Oh my gosh, but there's only one, but I love it. Oh, I'm dead. It is $25 too. You guys, I am completely dead. This is the cutest. It's $5.99, oh my gosh. I love it, that would be so cute for fall. There's some faux, like, faux botanicals in it. That'd be fantastical. Are these all napkin rings? Napkin ring. oh my gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> so I'm feeling inspired by all the purple, right? And I saw like this little vignette that I created here and should I do like a purple kind of like decor styling thing at the event on Thursday as like kind of like maybe like a not so traditional Halloween slash fall color and like making it work? I think that'd be so much fun. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think if you guys want to see something like that because I think that purple is such a cool color. I feel like it is a very like Halloween-y color but like not like this. It's almost like grandma, but like fabulous grandma. I don't know. Well, let me know because I would love to do something like that. I think that would be so cool. But right now, I'm just looking for some more dinnerware. But not really spotting 
Oh, they have these black plates. These are kind of cool. There's four of them. Just found one of these LOL dolls. I don't know, I heard about them. I heard they're pretty um, popular right now. And I also found these really cool wreaths. And I have an idea about what I want to do with these. They're from the $3 section at Target. Don't know how much they are here because I didn't actually price them, but they're probably like a dollar maybe? We'll see. We will see. You guys, look, I just found this like monkey banana holder. I probably spray paint him white, but he's so cute. He looks like Curious George. I'm looking through this last like little chachi section area. I did find this soap dispenser. It's from Target. It's really pretty. This needs to be cleaned. But I really like this design. And yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. You guys, look at this sassy play. I kind of love it. 24 karat gold. Um, let's see. Does it say where it's from? Something George. Something. Something US. Dollar ninety nine. This is so fun. All right, I'm looking for like more mirrors ever since I found like that super fabulous mirror here the other day which I am so excited about oh check out this peacock thing this is really cool that is so awesome it totally goes with this peacock thing that I just found oh my gosh it's gonna be so cool so this is like an opal house um, like bed sheet set, which is amazing. It's gonna look great with this painting. Now I'm making kind of like a little photo gallery vignette, and I found like this really cool Target one mixed with like this one that was donated, and then the peak. Like I think all these really look go like really well together. I think they would all go really fun. Okay, so right here we have a new loom rug of Arana's one. It's a wool, which is amazing. Hand tufted, made in India, and it's only $70. This is what it looks like. It looks gorgeous, and these are expensive. I think they range like, I think this one would be, let's see. Oh, it's not that one. Ah, now I can't find it. All right, here we go, I found it. It's on Amazon, 301 dollars that is amazing so you can get it for 70 dollars you are saving hundreds of dollars and it's brand new oh, i wish i had somewhere to put a pink rug right now i just found this coffee table the opal house oh sorry painted coffee table here it is in this box amazing here we have this desk i love it when the like the items have pictures but look at this lowering writing desk Guys, they have my set! This is what I got, except mine didn't come with this, it was missing. Um, look at that, $100. Gorgeous. Alright guys, I'm currently back at home, and I'm super excited to share with you guys Mom's food. Check it out. <gasps> oh my gosh, it looks so good! Everyone already ate, so I am the last one to eat, but look at this, it looks so good. Um, I'm actually gonna pack some up right here because we're gonna bring some to our neighbor. Mom's actually already there right now. She's visiting with our, um, with our neighbor right now. And she was gonna bring some of this and she forgot. So I'm gonna pack some up, bring it over, and then I'm gonna eat some too. Because it looks really, really good. Hey guys, okay, so we are in the library right now. And I'm super excited to share with you guys what I ended up getting today from the Goodwill. So, well, from... Veterans Thrift and the Goodwill. Like, I was like, where did I go this morning? Okay, so the first thing that I got um, this morning at the Veterans Thrift is I got this pumpkin. He's huge. He's $7. Um, I hope he works. I haven't actually tried him out, but I think he should be fine. I think. So, there he is, $7. Um, these are usually like 14 or something, and... I think that's, I thought it was a pretty good deal, and he's actually a different shape from all the other ones that I've seen, so I kind of want to get them in different shapes, and I kind of like that he has a different kind of coloration, a little bit more yellow, so very excited about this little guy. He's going to go outside with the rest of my little electric um, light-up pumpkins, so I was really pleasantly surprised to see him there, because I... I actually haven't seen um, very much Halloween decor at 
the veterans thrift as of late. So um, that was pretty cool. And then I did end up getting this little. I ha I couldn't resist. I had to get this little uh, little turtle play. I love turtles, um, as you guys can see. Got one right here. So like, yeah. And there's like a bunch more. I have like two little turtle planners outside too. So love turtles so much. I think they're such amazing creatures. And now I have this one. So very excited. So there's that guy. I'm gonna go wash him up after this. And then um, I got this. What is this called? Aura Delphine. It's a little pouch. It's really cute. This is actually the second time that I thrifted this. The first time I got it, I remember I actually got it at the um, at the Goodwill in like the LA one yes LA flagship store so that was a long time ago too and now we have this guy here and he is like brand new still has tags attached and seven dollars for this pouch okay now to the handbags um this one is a bot here like, no, Kuba bought K. This one's a Kuba. And this one was only $5. Amazing. I don't know, like, sometimes... The people that price the bags are... I don't know. They either... I don't know if it's, like, the same person, but I really like the person that prices things low. <laughs> um, but this is such a cool bag. I love all of the detail with, like, the leather. Just, like, going through the grommets and everything. I just thought this was a gorgeous... Gorgeous bag. I love the color. I love the style. love everything about it. And it's in really great condition, actually. There's, like, not very much wear on it at all. And it is stunning. So, very excited about this bag. Then, this one's a Bakier. I don't know why I keep thinking that I got more than one Bakier bag. But this one is a Bakier. This one is so pretty. I've actually been eyeing this bag for a while. Uh, but I keep putting off getting it and I finally got it. It's really, really pretty. It's like a champagne, metallic-y, treated leather. It's so pretty. It has a longer shoulder strap right there, top handle. And I love all of this detail. Like, it almost looks like a wood grain kind of detail. It's really, really cool. Um, and then this guy was $30, but it was 75% off. So... That was amazing. And the bag is in really great condition. Um, it does have a little bit of like markings, but I think they're just like dirt and I can just wipe them off. Um, there are a little like bits of like glue marks right there, which which does happen every so often. And yeah, but I'm hoping this will just clean up really nicely because other than that, the bag does look almost brand new. Like there's no like actual signs of wear, just like like looks like someone like kind of like got it dirty somehow. But there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Bakke. I love Bakke bag so, so much. Then up next, I had to get this one. Um, I didn't think it was going to make it till next week, honestly. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pull the trigger now and get it. And it was $50. But the, these Mark Jacobs, Mark by Mark Jacobs bags are so nice. And I love this style. And just look at the standard black pebbled leather. The gold hardware, gorgeous. It just has like, um, I don't know, like dirt marks or something. Like, you just need, like, like someone spilled, like, maybe milk or something on it. So, that's an easy, easy enough thing to clean. And there is a little bit of, like, darkening in the interior, but I never worry too much about the interior. It's really the outside that's, like, pretty hard to get clean. The fabric is usually pretty easy and doesn't really affect the overall look of the bag as much. So, there's that. Mark by Mark Jacobs. Gosh, I love these bags so much. I know I always say that about everything, but I just love like so many handbags. It's like crazy. But this one is really, really cute. This is the first one I found in black, I believe, in this style. So that's also very exciting for me. I love finding bags for the first time. It's like really fun. <clears throat> okay, and then last but not least from the Veterans Thrift. And this one again, I also had to, and I ended up getting it. Just because I really like, really liked it the first time I saw it. Got it for 25% off. So this one, I think, so it was 60, so I believe it was like around $45, right? Uh, 
So there's a back pocket right there, and then there's a front pocket right here when you lift up the little um, clasp. And this is the interior. It just has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. It's just really, really, really cute. I really like this bag so, so much. I love the style. I love all the details about it. And you know what? It just needs a little bit of conditioner, a little cleaning, and then it's going to be good, good to go. And a little bit of cleaning of the interior because it looks like someone maybe spilled some, like, maybe eyeshadow or I don't know, something, like, some sort of red makeup. But it looks like they tried to clean it, so... There, that. Oh, you know, I forgot to get the stuff that I got from the Goodwill. Hold on one second. Back. Okay, so, um, I did end up getting this really cute soap dispenser. It was only $4, but it's new from Target. It's just a little dirty, but I know that, like, these things, they just clean up really easily, so. And I just really love the design on here. And, yeah, I just thought it was very, like, kind of, like, Moroccan, but, like, modern Moroccan. It was, like, all white with silver. And we've been looking for, like, another, um like soap dispenser. I think when mom wants to put like a lotion in there and put it by the sink. And then I also found, I was very excited about this, this Patricia Nash bag. It's so cool. It's like laser cut first. So it has like this cool design in it. And then the interior, super clean. Like it still has, like I feel like it's brand new. Still has the tags attached. The interior is super clean. Still has the paper in it. Um, there is kind of like a purple thing on, a uh, purple, like a reddish, like I think someone got like makeup on it or something, which I think is what happened. I'm going to see if we can get the, uh, like the red tinge off, but it is on the back, so it's like not very noticeable and it's kind of like towards the bottom, so like towards the, um, the interior of the back pocket, so it's not like super obvious, so I just thought it was really gorgeous I <laughs> really, really like feeling this part of the bag. I think it's really cool. So uh, that is pretty much all I got. I tried to be strong at the Goodwill because I only went to the one that the event's going to be at and I really just wanted to pull items for the event. And I asked you guys um, on Instagram if I should do a purple color story kind of like for um, one of the like display or um, like like one of the setups that I'm gonna do um, for the event, and a lot of you guys said yes, so I'm very excited about that because I thought I was just really inspired when I saw all the purple stuff, and I thought I was like, oh my gosh, it would be so cool to do like a purple inspired like Halloween slash fall decor scheme, just because it's not really a color that's very like associated with particularly fall. I think like maybe Halloween because like purple. Kind of, could kind of go into that category or like maybe even winter but usually fall isn't so I think it'd be really cool to just do like a kind of like fall slash Halloween inspired like tablescape or something with that stuff so uh, I think I'm definitely gonna do that and I think it's gonna be super fun so thank you guys again for all of your feedback I love asking you guys questions on Instagram and also talking about Instagram mom's Instagram went live today thank you for everyone that um, added her on Instagram and commented and liked her photos. She was just so excited. Like, honestly, it was like, she was like, oh my gosh, there's so many people. And I was like, I know, they love you. And she's like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Was, it's just really cute. So again, if you guys want to check her out, um, the, and also the name was kind of like a joke. I was like, oh my gosh, mom, I'm going to make you an Instagram. I'm going to call it It's Hadrian's Mom. And she was like, what? And Don was like, you should do it. And it was just really fun. So, um, the joke ended up becoming, like, going through to fruition, so I guess it just ended up happening. I don't know, maybe she'll change her name in the future on there, but as of right now, It's Hadrian's Mom is live on Instagram, so um, follow her. She, like, posted two photos, and she was like, oh my gosh, I have no clue what I'm doing. She's just, like, really funny. She really only uses, um, I think she only uses, like, Facebook, and she had, like, Instagram, but she just uses it to, like, look at pictures. Like, she doesn't know how to post on Instagram. Um... And before she was like linked to like, I think she was like linked to like my Instagram or something like, I don't know what she was using. Um, but yeah, so now she has like her own official Instagram. So if you guys haven't done so and would like to, don't forget to add mom. Um, it's gonna be so fun. She's gonna, I told her she had to like post at least once a day. So she's trying really hard. <laughs> but you guys are totally encouraging her. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't disappoint them. And I was like, you could never mom. So yeah, so it's gonna be super fun um, to, now you can follow mom or like, like and, and I know she's like really shy um, on YouTube. So I feel like this might be a way to like get her foot into 
kind of like that area. So um, hopefully you'll be seeing more videos with her very soon in cooking. And also, oh, <gasps> I had, okay, so, okay. Something also is going to be happening that's very exciting that I can't really tell you guys about yet. I, I This is so weird. Like, I never thought I would have, like, anything like this, like, that I would not be able to tell you guys. But it's really exciting. I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy it. And it's happening very soon. But I don't know when it's going to get posted. Um, but something else. I, ha I have something else kind of in the works right now that I hope you guys are going to enjoy. And hopefully you guys will have fun with it. So, um, that's going to happen very soon um i just don't know when i'm gonna post it i don't know maybe i'll vlog something about it i i still have to figure it out everything out i have to like work everything out but it's gonna be so much fun and yeah so stay tuned for even more fun stuff and also for everyone that wanted to see the inst um, the event again instagram live if you guys have instagram you can watch it live on the oc goodwill um instagram they'll have that live streaming on there and then I'm also going to be recording it and then posting it on YouTube the following day so you guys can watch it if you guys um, don't have Instagram. I know there's a couple of you guys out there. Um, so that should be pretty fun. I'm really excited. I'm still really nervous. I honestly still have no clue what I'm going to do. I, I have an idea, but I'm like, it's just like all new to me. So just like everything else in my life, just fly by the seat of your pants, do your best, and hope for the best. So <laughs> hopefully everything will work out. Um, but you know what? I think, I think, I think we'll we're gonna have fun so i'm very excited about that and i think that's going to end the video let me just do a couple shout outs and a couple questions and again thank you for everyone that um congratulated um me on or actually us reaching 16,000 subscribers that is so crazy honestly like who who could have known that could ever happen so again Thank you guys so much for that. Like, honestly, it's, it means the world to me. So I thank you guys again. Um, oh, where are my comments? Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, yeah, like a bunch of Fa Fabiola Esquivel. I, mean, I feel like I get like a Spanish accent whenever I can read anything in Spanish. You know what? You have my Spanish teacher to thank for that. Um, so thank you, <laughs> Senora Zartucci. Um, my Spanish accent is actually way better than my Tagalog accent, which is, like, I actually, like, that was actually my first language, and my accent is horrible, so, it's horrible. <laughs> I have to really work on it, but I can still speak it and understand it fluently, but my accent is just atrocious. Um, and also to Taia Watkins, she says, congratulations also for 16k, thank you so much, Taia. Um... So Rafael Trasvina says, is that a coach, Disney Mickey Mouse on your chair? Yes, it is Rafael. Um, I actually, I think I vlogged actually when I got that when um, the collaboration was released at the coach outlets. Yeah, and I brought you guys the day, I think, was it that day? I think it, it came out that week. I don't think I went the very first day, but um, I think I like maybe went the second or third day and I was able, actually he moved over there. <laughs> So I was able to um, grab one of those. I actually got a couple things for a couple of you guys, which was really cool. Um, I posted it on um, Instagram, and I was able to pick you guys up um, a couple items. So I was very excited that I was able to help you guys get those, because I know a lot of places they sold out. But um, the one in the mall by like that we went to is like a really really large one. They had like a large inventory, and like they were like literally running out already. Like I got there like early in the morning. And it was like, I think it was like the second or third day. And there was like almost literally nothing left. So, um, it was really cool. Oh, Sally Wynn says, congratulations. Thank you so, so much, Sally. Um, oh, and Jay Johnson, the mirror is awesome. Thank you. So it's so exciting, that mirror. And it's like literally on the floor right there. Um, I really need, I, I just need to figure it out. <laughs> uh, Grandma Gaga 60 says, I think Miss Philly found the same Barney Melville skull shirt sweater the other day that's so she's so awesome and i love when, like i love when um we twin finding items at the goodwill and that they're so i think that's so cool that like that can even happen like and i think it's so cool too like when i myself like when i find repeat things of items that i've already found like what are the odds like that's so interesting right um <laughs> green no lover 
says, are you guys dead? LOL, yes, you are so cute. Congrats on your finds. Thank you so much. Yay. Uh, Gloria Evans, that LV is gorgeous. Held all your items. Wow, awesome mirror. Can't wait to see how you're styling it. It's going to be rocking. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much. Um, Cheryl Brandy, what's your mom's new Instagram? I can't find it. Oh, it's linked. I'll, I'll, it's going to be in this video. I'll have it linked down in the description box as well. From now on, if anyone ever wants to see mom's Instagram, it's going to be linked down below in every video as well. So you guys can follow her on there. Oh, and Joanna Hayden, sorry, Sully. Congrats on reaching 16K subbies. Your channel is growing so fast. Your videos are amazing. Thank you so much, Joanna. You're so sweet. I know you always comment too in all the videos. And like, honestly, you guys just like, all right. Just make my heart smile. So thank you guys again so much. Let me try and go down a little bit more. And ugh, let me read some of the earlier comments from the day. Because sometimes I don't get to them and I feel really bad. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, here we have Kamuyana. I remember you so well, Elsa. Like... Don't worry if, like, I have seen you, like, I've seen your comments, and I remember you, and I'll never forget you. Hi, Hadrian, I have not forgotten you, <laughs> just that I have been very, very busy with my personal life and more. So after last year's hurricane, when I suffered from damage to my house, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that, that's so horrible. Like, all of the things, like, the natural disasters that are affecting, like, like places all over the world, they are awful, so we need, like... I think we should try and help them as much as possible. So if anyone like can help, I like please reach out um, and we can all help each other, I think, in this crazy, crazy world. Um, but she's okay, let's continue. I watch your videos, although I don't comment as much as I used to. Just had to comment on this one to ask that you please do a video on cleaning up the canvas of the Louis Vuitton because I have a couple of them and whenever I have the chance to clean them up, I'll have your video that will help me. A big hug for your mom and please say hi to her for me and of course the same to you, Elsa. I will definitely do a cleaning video on the Louis Vuitton. Um, especially, I feel like the Azur is um, it's a lot more prone to like color transfer and stains just because it's a lighter color. So. Um, I have actually not really cleaned anything, like, that. I've never cleaned a uh, Dami Azor before, so it'll be so much fun checking that out, but I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments. Don't forget to add mom to you on Instagram. It's Hadrian's mom. Again, down below in the description box. Check out today's thrifty video. I went up this morning. The new one goes up tomorrow at 7, and the new vlog up at 2. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye! I don't know how I overlooked this platter the first time, but it's beautiful yellow false scrap. Like platter, it's so fun. I love it. Oh my gosh, I just had a vision. A vision of flowers. Oh no, it's gonna be... Okay, so now like I wanna do like a table setting with all floral platters, like but flower shaped platters.